beetle people welcome back to a beautiful life so today's video is going to be an updated beetles shirt collection video um, this is one of the videos that I did when I first started my channel last year but it's one of those uh, instances where I know I could do better on the video so I'm kind of redoing it but I'm adding some new things too so let's get started so um, we're gonna start with the one I'm wearing now this you probably see me in a lot um, it is from the Fest for Beatles fans website, and it's just a simple black sweatshirt with the Apple logo on it. Um, I'm wearing this in my new profile photo that I just updated on all my social media, so if you follow me on, on anything at all, you will have seen it. Um, so I have a big pile next to me of shirts. I think in the interest of time, I'm not going to show my Paul McCartney shirts, uh, because I showed those pretty recently in my... Um, in my Paul McCartney tour merchandise video so I'm gonna skip those today because I have plenty more to show um, so let's get into this pile here so we'll start with one I know I forgot last time um, I bought this shirt in London uh, when I was at the Beatles store there I really wish I had a YouTube channel then because it would have been so cool to you know vlog going to Abbey Road and you know going to the Beatles store but I didn't have a channel at that point so I wasn't thinking about vlogging obviously but here is this shirt, um, Beatles, 1964, New York. Uh, 1964 is one of my favorite Beatles years, so I this is why I picked this shirt. Um, there's nothing on the back. Here's a closer look. Next, this is something that actually doesn't fit me anymore, so my mom wears it because I wore this uh, when I was first becoming a big Beatles fan. Um, this was a Christmas gift I got, I think, when I was about 13 or something. So this is a hooded sweatshirt, and I will show you all the details on it. On the arm here, it says, Love Me Do, and it does on the zipper pull as well. And you can see uh, it says 2009 on the tag there. And nothing on the back, but the inside of the hood is red. And the pockets too. I wore this wore this to school a lot when we had uh, dress down days. When I was in school, we had uniforms, so it was only every once in a while that we could wear like normal clothes, you know. So I definitely wore this a lot in that case. Next up is this one. Um, this is something I wear a lot in the fall. Um, an Abbey Road shirt, nice rainbow colors. Again, nothing on the back. You can see the logo. Next up is this sweatshirt here with a nice umbrella design. This is also from the Fest for Beatles fans website. The one I just showed, uh, the Abbey Road one, I think that's from Kohl's, uh, the store Kohl's here in the U.S. Next up, now I know we did just come out of the holiday season, but I want to just uh, quickly show my Christmas shirts that I have, just for anyone who may not have seen them. So we have this Paul one. Simply having a wonderful Christmas time. And we have this one. It says, Happy Christmas, Beetle People. Now this one is from the Beatles online store. Um, I'm not sure if they have any available at this point. Um, you could, if you search Christmas, you should be able to uh, see whether or not they do. And this one is from Paul's website. It is no longer available. I got this um, in 2016. So those were my long sleeve items. Um, I just realized I didn't show my jacket, so I'll have to show that at some other point, but I'll, I'll pop a picture in uh, so you could still see that because I forgot to bring it up here. But we're getting into the short sleeve shirts now. So this is one that I just recently bought um, at H&M at the mall. So it says, here they come, the fabulous Beatles. Here's the graphic on the front. And on the back is their 1964 American tour dates. I always like to point out they had a concert on September 14th, which is my birthday. Next up is this one. I'm sorry, it's a bit wrinkled. Um, this is a Hard Day's Night shirt. I got this at a store called The Bonton, which I don't believe exists um, anymore, at least not in my local mall. But um, here is that. Next, this is one I got at kind of a, 
uh, I don't know, flea market would be the right word, but um, they had a bunch of shirts available at kind of this big market I went to. And um, this is obviously a poster printed onto the shirt. Next up is another one of my mini Abbey Road shirts. Um, this is just a basic white t-shirt with um, a black and white background, but the Beatles are in color. I don't quite remember where I got this, unfortunately. I'm trying to say where I got all the shirts if I can remember, but I don't remember where I got this one. I've had it for like four or five years now. And next is another Abbey Road shirt. This one I've had for a, quite a long time, uh, probably around since I was 13 or so. Um, so obviously don't remember where this is from, but of course Abbey Road shirts are uh, very popular, so you'll see them in a bunch of places. Next up is this one. I think this was a Christmas gift a while back. Um, I really like this one because pink is my favorite color. I wore this once when I visited uh, Strawberry Fields, I believe. So this is one that I actually bought from a local record store. Um, it's a unisex shirt, um, just a Sgt. Pepper design. Now this next one is more of the one, uh, one of the more unique uh, selections that I have. Um, but I'm sorry, it's pretty wrinkled because it hasn't been worn in quite some time. Um, but this is a crop top, and uh, you can see on the shirt it has the all of the lyrics for "Can't Buy Me Love." on the shirt and also on the tag as well I think I got this at Macy's if I'm not mistaken I'll be wearing this obviously when the weather gets a lot warmer as it is winter right now this is another one that I'm waiting uh, for the weather to warm up in order for me to wear it but it is an all you need is love tank top Next, this is one that I also got from Kohl's. Uh, this is a very minimalistic kind of design, but it just has the Beatles logo on the pocket here, and it ties at the bottom. At the logo. This next one is from Forever 21. Um, this is like a baseball tee design. It has them on the front. And just plain white on the back. Next up, this is another one from the Fest for Beatles fans uh, website. Now this design, I really like these colors, um, and it has them on their bicycles in the Bahamas on the bottom. Some palm trees. And just, again, plain blue on the back. Next up, now this is not technically a Beatles shirt, but I do want to show it anyway. This is my shirt of Patty Boyd uh, doing her makeup uh, from, you know, those uh, magazine articles she used to do. I actually have the 16 magazine um, with her hair tutorial in it, but uh, this is from her makeup tutorial. I got this from, uh, I believe, Redbubble. Uh, the website that I mentioned briefly in my holiday shopping guide video, actually. Um, I'm not sure if these are still available or not, because I, I got this, I think, like six years ago. Um, but you could always check. Just do a simple search of Patty Boyd. So, finally, this last one is from Target. Um, it says, Good Day Sunshine. Um, I was in Target the other day, and I saw some... Um, Beatles shirts that are still there. Uh, not these, but long sleeve um, shirts and it has the uh, Union Jack uh, flag on it and the Beatles logo. But here is this one. Alright, so that does it for my Beatles shirt collection. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching and thank you for watching. Um, be sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more things like this. Um, and as always, I'm going to leave my social media uh, linked in the description below so you can check that out if you want. And as always, have a beautiful day, everybody. Bye-bye.